a new study by neuroscientists at Stanford University, examines the way in which areas in the brain associated with facial recognition grow. Published in the journal Science, the research led by Stanford's Kalanit Grospector focused on the fusiform gyrus, an important region for face recognition. Working with 22 children between the ages of 5 and 12, as well as 25 adults in their early to late 20s, researchers measured the size of that region and used brain imaging to gauge activity in the fusiform gyrus in each subject. This is a sampling of images participants saw during brain imaging. Grill Spector and her collaborator, Jesse Gomez, also conducted memory tests in which children and adults were asked to pick out familiar faces and objects. They then assessed whether there was any relationship between how well the study participants remembered faces and the activity and amount of tissue in the fusiform gyrus. The more tissue the fusiform had, the better people recalled faces. Adults had roughly 13% more tissue in this brain area than children, according to the study. The findings suggest that brain areas involved in recognizing faces grow as children develop and that the growth spurt may heighten our face recognition faculties.